Yo, so David here with another video for you today. Guys, guys, are, are you with me? Pay attention, okay? This video is important because I see a lot of people who study martial arts, okay? Now this is for the martial artists, but it's also for the non-martial artists, okay? There's a lot of people who study martial arts, jujitsu, all of the, the Aikido sports, Aikido arts. Guys, you see them doing a lot of falling. And it's important because you see, people forget, when I came into the system, we did a lot of falling. You see, we did a lot of mat work. And you got guys today, today, some schools, some systems still put a heavy emphasis on mat work. That's great for the kids. That's great for the teenagers. Man, but when you're older, no. And I still see them, instead of evolving, instead of them moving forward, they're stuck. And they want to stay there trying to have a bunch of 40-year-old, 50-year-old people doing mat work, doing ukemis, and rollouts, and diving. Oh, it looks good, it looks pretty, it looks nice. It is a waste of that adult's time. To another level. Let's hit it. To another level. You are taking that adult and you are wasting their time. Because they don't need to know that. I've been doing martial arts a long time. I've seen a lot of situations. I ain't never seen nobody do a Ukemi in the street. Have you? I'm waiting. The answer is no. You haven't seen it either. Okay? I ain't never seen nobody do a break for them in the street. It don't happen. Okay? This ain't no Steven Seagal movie above the law, where guys are going into you chemis all over the place? No! So then what's the point in, in practicing it? We don't have time to waste. Spend time on the stuff that you know you might have to use. Okay? That's why it's called martial arts. Practice the martial stuff and put it where it belongs. And then you practice the art stuff and put that where it belongs. That don't, I'm not saying don't teach it, don't ever practice it, but don't have a bunch of 40 year old men, 50 year old men, 35, 40, 50 year old guys do a break for for 10 minutes, you're wasting your time. That's for a demonstration and I'm not impressed with it. Every time I see it, I just laugh because I said they'll never do that outside, never. They can barely walk. Some of them walk in the dojo with, with limps and canes, and next thing you know, they're going to get on the mat, and why I do roll out. They ain't never doing that no place. Go lie to somebody else. Okay, but let me tell you what will happen. These are the two falls. These are the two falls that you need to know. Okay? You need to know side fall. You need to know basic side fall. And I'm not going to go into side fall to teach it to you, but you just need to know that your positioning on side fall when you hit head up, Slap out, arm length, torch your legs, not like this, where you have your groin exposed. And it's the same thing, right side and left side, slap out, cross your legs, hands up, head up off the mat. You need to know that, okay? But here's, because it's very easy for someone, and however you got there, when they're inside of your body, the easiest sweep to do, the easiest takedown to do, and I showed you this in another video, it's just your basic outside leg sweep. This is the easy, put your legs behind and push the man over. You could grab his chin, use your forearm, the head, the leg, but just tripping the man. That's the easiest thing to do. And then a person starts stomping you out. You see, but if you practice that the right way, that's what an older person might need to know, okay? But, you got to take that fall and go right into offense and not stay there like a target trying to go into defense. Most people, when they, I'll do it again, most people when they're taken down, they go into fetal position and they cover up 
in a self-defense mindset where now self-defense, I keep telling you the difference between self-defense and self-offense. Self-defense is somebody kicking your behind and you trying to stop them. They started and you're trying to finish. After they started, I'm defending myself. When you're down there, you're hoping, get down there again, that when I'm here, when he's stopping me, I'm going to use some kind of technique that I've learned. And if you don't practice grappling, trust me. Trust me. Nah, you don't know what to do. You're just going to go in a fetal position and hope the guy don't stomp your head out, okay, or break your ribs. But if you understand a basic concept that when a man takes you down, can you come over here, please? When a man say that, when your man takes you down like this, you don't stay here. And look, look at what Kenny is saying. Oh, my God. And he starts stomping your head and your ribs out and stomping your groin out. When he takes you there, when he takes you down in a position like that, and you go down, you automatically turn it around, go in between his legs. So now Kenny don't have the ability to kick, to stomp me out. Now I can easily take him down, and then now I got to know what I can do for him. Okay? It's important that I turn it into offense, but I need to know that takedown. Another takedown I need to know, backfall. Okay? Because when somebody slams you against the wall, your head hits first. So you got to understand the basic principle that the floor is the wall. So if you take this red floor and pull it, and it goes up the wall, the wall will be red. So the same thing I'm doing here, I will do there. So the same thing I'm doing here, where I don't let my head go bang, bang. And now, I'm gonna, I need Advil now. I need Advil right now. I'm making myself dizzy with that nonsense. Okay? If I understand how to tuck my head and keep my head tucked and my hands in front of me, my positioning and my butt up, from don't let my cock's bone hit, I'll be okay. So I know this is an important form to go back and cover my face. Because I know that when the man, once again, remember, I'm pulling the red floor up the wall. So when the man shoves me, I use the same thing. I tuck my head, butt out, and I put my hands up. You see, and if you understand that, if he has two hands on your body and he's shoving you to the wall, it is impossible for him, as he's doing this, to recover, to block his face while your hands are on my garment. You can't. can't do it. Unless he lets you go before, let me go before I hit the wall. Now, now he, it's, it's a different story. But if he carries you to the wall, boom, he can't. There's no way in hell he can protect his eyes and face before he can let me go. In most situations, he's not going to shove you and then let you no, go. No, most situations, he's going to shove, gonna shove you and hold you. Right. The only time a person would do this and let you go, if they have a, a weapon on them that they want to disengage, they want to disengage to pull their weapon. But if not, they're carrying you woo, to the wall. And once you understand the basic break for, smack it, tuck your head, and then come right back in into this guy's vision, it's, that's it. You're good. So guys, if you're older, those are the only two falls you need to practice. The rest of the stuff, man, stop doing it. Teach it, teach it, but stop doing it because it's a waste of your time. You ain't doing all you chemies. You ain't doing no one finger or two finger or three finger rolls. You're not doing any of that out in the street. It's demonstration purposes only. Okay? I'm trying to tell you something, guys. I see a lot of people come in here to my place and they see all these guys on my floor from 20 to 60 and plus, and they're going, man, how do you, how do you guys rock? How do you get so many old guys in here? God told me the other day, how do you get so many old cats on your mat? Because we're not doing nonsense that they can't do. They don't walk in here and see a bunch of guys flying and slamming and bouncing off the mats. They look at it, 
they say, yo, it's nice. Man, but I can't do that. I can't do that. I got to go to work tomorrow. I do four or five of those, man. Oh, my hips will be all yeah. messed up. My back. How many times have you heard that, Kenny? Yeah. Yeah. Kenny, how many times have we heard Countless. people say that? Talk about, listen, if I do that, I got to go see my chiropractor. Okay. The next day. Keep it practical, man. Keep it practical. And I promise you, you get more out of your training, you'll be able to touch more lives, you'll be able to help more people and stop chasing people away, man, who want to learn how to defend themselves against them thugs in the street. Give them something they can use. Kenny, give them something they can use right now. Right now, guys, we are allowing everybody to go on the offense. Now, you can hit everybody watching this video, you can do something offensive. That means you can hit that subscribe button, guys, like, comment, like, share, guys. Comment. And guys, if you are on YouTube, thank you, welcome. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram, guys. Facebook and Instagram. Exactly. And just keep, just keep, keep posting, guys. Share. I want you right now. Share it to all the people that you care about. That's right. Share about, it. Tell them about all these wonderful videos, guys. Wonderful Everybody. videos. And ladies, if you are new to the channel, welcome. That's right. We like women, too. That's all of the videos. This, this information is for you guys, too. So please share it, guys. We're going to see you in the next video, guys. Thank you very the much. The next video. Today. Pay attention. To another level.